Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy John for the Game Duo here, welcoming you back to another special episode of the Saga Lock number sixty-seven. I can't believe we're already at number sixty-seven. It's just a thing. It's something that we got, and yeah. So I'm turning on my fan because fan is good. Fan is uh, much good, very good, and yeah. So Jonas and I played Celebrity Mic Swap. And pff, I don't know why I said it like that. But anyway, so hopefully the mic sounds better because he really likes my mic. And if his mic does better for me, then that's good too. Because it's, I got, I really need an omnidirectional mic for the way that I do my stuff and how everything goes. And he needs a monodirectional mic for what he does. So, we kind of bought the exact opposite mics that we needed, which is hilarious to me. Anyway, we got our team trained to level 19. No, nothing new other than... Oh, wait, there is something new. Hold on. I forgot. Tarant, being the lifesaver that he is, was like, John, you realize that Nina evolves level 18. I was like, wait, it does? So, Nina's got Magnet Paul with Clamp, Confusion, Bubble Beam, and Psychic. So, that is good news for us. I didn't, like I said, I didn't know Nina evolved at 18. But yeah, that's when Nina learns Mimics. So, it makes sense. And, yeah. So, I'm really happy we got a Nina and that it evolved at 18. Like, that's a, it's just amazing to me. It's like, oh, okay, that's when this thing evolves. Because, you know, when you do your stuff, you're just like, okay, chill, it's fine, it's cool. But yeah, so anyway, today has been a great day. I got to hang out with family, and you know, I'm a family man, so hanging out with, excuse me, hanging out with family is awesome, and I love doing that kind of stuff, because family is important, it always is. Um, I also came up with some ideas for my ninth year anniversary sleep block. Um, I already have a date for that, by the way. Um, I like it, well, duh, the date's the same basically every time, because it's a nine year anniversary, and if the date's not the same as your anniversary, that's kind of weird. Anyway. Yeah, so that one's I already got the date for. It's Friday, February 18th, 2022. Um, and I'm trying, I got a cool idea, a Bruin, in my head. I can't really talk about it, but it's going to be really awesome. So, then the other thing, too, is that I kind of had other, other things that were brewing in my head about, like, how I want to do, like, what I want to do for my freaking 22nd birthday. What the heck? I'm not allowed to be 22. Honestly, if the fact that I'm about to be 22 is just not okay, can we, like, can I, like, return being 22? Can I, like, honestly, either I return being 22 or I just become 25. Because, <laughs> either way, I'm okay with it. Because, holy cow, it is insanity. Be like, I literally, the, it should not be coming up this fast. Like, I feel like just this year just went by faster than any other year has before. And it's just like, oh, well, that happened. Like, you got through it. And, of course, a lot of people would be like, well, if it's like, yeah, you got through it. Like, why are you worried? Why are you like, oh, my gosh. It's like, well, yeah, but, like, 22, though. Like, <laughs> like 22 isn't even that old, but it just feels like it's like a lot of life that I've lived already. Like, if you think about it, that's probably about 30% of my life at least has been lived. I wouldn't say 30. That's too high. Um, like 20, 27.5% of my life. There we go. Um, I thought about it and I'm like, technically, if it's uh, 30%, then it would... Cap me out. Well, it caps me out about 70. Depends on my genetic structure. If, my, if I get genetics like my grandfather um, on my mom's side, then I'm solid. Um, so we'll find out here. But yeah, I'm ho I'm thinking like about 27% of my life has been lived, which is just crazy. <laughs> like, or I said, excuse me, 27% of my life has been lived, which I don't know. It just is a weird realization when you're like, oh, you know... 20% of my life is gone. It's like, at, or 25% of my life is gone. And you're just like, oh, yeah, it, it really is. Um, like, you, you're, I will have crossed that margin, which is just, wow. Uh, so today's episode, I want to take on the Valley Windworks. Uh, although, I might be able to take on more than that. We'll see. 
because I predicted that episode 70 will be the episode after we take on <clears throat> the next gym. Also, I really hope you guys are okay with me training to level uh, 19 because uh, whatever her face is has a 18, a Mars has an 18 and a 20 on her team. So I figure leave that little extra space for an actual challenge whilst like not dying. <laughs> Uh, I guess is the best way to explain it, because, you know, yeah, boy doesn't want to lose this uh, lock, and I really, if I were to have a game to be chill, Sinnoh would be the game that I would be like, if you make that chill, I'll be happy. So, yeah, so that's what I'm hoping for, is that Sinnoh's going to be chill, and, like, and, you know, I'll take it. If Sinnoh's chill, that's an awesome, that's a victory for us. So, we missed. Um... I was not expecting the miss. Okay. But yeah, that super power should kill. We're fine. I know. Shout casting. Blah. Um, although, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the balance between what's good for shout casting and what's not for shout casting. Because in my head, I'm like, you need a little bit. I've talked about this a lot, so I'm going to just keep it short. I feel like there's a little bit of short or shout casting that needs to be done, but not like this is gonna happen and this is happening and this is happening it's like no stop no uh, like you know that kind of stuff is what's in my head is like no don't do that which makes sense oh my gosh okay oh my gosh i'm gonna like team galactic commanders uh there's like three of us unless we're playing platinum and then there's four and like we've been trying to create a new better world than this one because this one sucks people have been really terrible at creating a good stable environment for us and like uh i don't understand like why uh, it's setting so let us have a battle to decide who we should do or what we should do next. Oh my gosh. If I win, you lose the Nuzlocke. And if if you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave the Valley Wind Works so you guys can create some solar energy. That's not how it works. It's okay. It's Mars saying that, not me. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So level, her level 18 is a primate. It's Nick. Okay. Why? That's level 16. Wait! What? Her other mod is low level like that? Why? Why in the world is her mod that low? She has a 20 on her team, for goodness sakes. Like, I thought that it was gonna be like 18 and 20. Mind you, I didn't look up her mood level. I just know that she's level 17 for Jonas, and I'm like, Jonas, you better train in RPN, because if you don't, I'm gonna be triggered. But, you know, I already know if he trained or not. But I can't tell you if he trained or not. So go check out Random Raw Platinum Nuzlocke because it's a series of gods, okay? And you better watch it because uh, I love you all. <laughs> and I love RPN, so. Which, I just love the style of RPN. Like, I couldn't pull it off because I'm, like, way too... Uh, let me entertain you by moving around and doing stuff. Because otherwise, if I didn't have a face cam, I wouldn't be entertaining. Woo! Uh, so, yeah. I'm not saying that my content is entertaining me, or is not entertaining because that's kind of what I said exactly. Never mind. I'm just going to shut up and before I dig deeper grave. Um, <laughs> so, anyways. Her level 20 is a... Great. Oh, no. I mean, we got Rhonda. But. Okay. Actually, this is a good time to see if it's uh rounded up or rounded down, I guess. Because 19.55 was her ace. So it should be rounded up. Whoa. She got a much different level in Platinum. Or in uh, Platinum than she does in... Uh, Diamond. Why is she so much lower in Diamond? And why is she so much higher in Platinum? What? Jonas didn't level boost RPN, did he? And I'm just being dumb? I don't think he level boosted RPN. And... Once his face was the level that we thought he was. 
Wow. Okay, game. I didn't know that. Oh, I messed it up. I guess I gotta say goodbye. Uh, uh. Blah, blah, blah. Team Galactic. I don't care. Oh my gosh, Daddy. You're okay. Uh, I'm glad. Glad I was able to save your daddy. Also, I gotta remind me to come back on Friday because I'm gonna forget and I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, I didn't remember to come back and I'm gonna be mad. So don't make me mad by letting me forget that because that's a big that's a big deal. Oh, Bill, get wrecked. Oh, wow, you didn't get wrecked. You're supposed to get wrecked. Sorry, I sped up because I figured it was gonna get wrecked and then it just didn't get wrecked. So, <laughs> uh, I'm not mad. I'm not upset about the Flareon because, realistically speaking, it was, we, we had a Ho-Oh, which was better. Oh, also, I said I was going to calc it in the last episode because I was like, I think that John didn't do a dumb, and I think the crit mattered. Oh, no, John totally did a dumb. And John just should have needle armed, you know, because, you know, a needle arm is much weaker. So that was just a questionable call on my part because if I needle armed, it did 45 to 55%. In comparison to 125 to 145%. Also, that's our third RC's plate. Let's go. It's the troll plate. Don't you love the troll plate? The troll plate is a, an amazing plate. If you guys don't like the troll plate, then who are you? Like, actually. Because troll is an amazing content creator. Today's just like John gassing up everybody. It's fine. It's okay. John's going to gas up everybody. The la Like, literally. You know, troll, Jonas, Joy, Tarant, Carp. Might as well just continue the slide um, <laughs> at this rate. Uh, bug. Tarot doesn't have a point that we're going here. Oh, they both have gunk shot. So then I'm going to go into Rose Raid. Because Rose Ra Yeah, like. I get that one. Or, like, literally, Tarot quad resists both stabs. But also, Rose Raid needs some love. And Tarot's kind of paralyzed right now <laughs> oh my gosh quad resist oh my gosh now rose raid's paralyzed so it didn't even matter don't we love when things just didn't matter in the first place and you just made a rational decision and then it was like oh by the way that the rational decision you just made yeah it doesn't matter it's okay oh giraffe rig giraffe raffa raffa rig we love giraffe raffa raffa rig uh Curious is a dark type yet, so I'm very nervous going into Curious, but, I mean, it should be okay, right? Yeah, we're, we're chill. We are definitely chill. I'm down with that. Let's go! Critical hit! Uh, dude, oh, oh my gosh, I just realized I could have made... What? My brain just, I, in uh, Jonas's wedlock, I could have made Curious Evolve just by getting three critical hits in a battle. Whoa. I just, like, my brain just was like, John, did you know you could do this? And it was like, no, why did she tell me beforehand? And it was like, yeah, fair. Um, like, because that would have been such a cool way to get Curious to evolve. Because then it's like, get a critical, get a couple critical hits in a battle. Instead of, like, just like what uh, Farfetch'd is. Flaffy. I actually want to keep Curious in. But I'm going to go into Nina! Curious, I love you, but I trust Nina right now. And I'm going to just Psychic and kill it, so it's fine. Like, I know Psychic kills, and we're good. Okay. I mean, to be fair, though, like, Psychic kills most anything, so... It ain't really that special that I knew that. Oh, frog fight. Oh, that's an encounter that we'll be able to get after, uh, that's not actually a level 25 encounter that we'll be able to get, too. It's not even a low-level encounter. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> oh, hi, Rotom. I have nothing for you. Uh, Nina, get out here and not boop -a doodle the thing anymore. <laughs> because now, oh, my if we d come on, goodness gracious, we don't want to boop doodle. There, boop doodle it. Bill, level 20. 
Bill, level 20. Ah, Bill, level 20. Bill, level 20. It's Bill, guys. I'm gonna do this just so Joy doesn't get triggered. Let's let's make Joy not triggered. I think I really enjoy that idea. What about you? Do you enjoy not triggering Joy? Another Arceus plate. That's the... F We've had four Arceus plates now. What the heck, game? Like, why are you throwing us all the Arceus plates? Like, I like the Arceus plates. Don't get me wrong. I want an Arceus super duper badly. But I'm not going to be like, oh, well, you didn't give me an Arceus plate. So, like, you're not good enough, game. Like, oh my gosh. It's like, no. I wouldn't ever do that to this game. Because this game is lovely. It's diamond. It's a masterpiece. And if you don't think it's a masterpiece, you can go die. Oh, I'm joking. I really don't care if you think it's a masterpiece or not. I think it's a good game. Other than the fact that it's slow. I think... And that's also due to the fact that, you know, it's the first game on the DS. So, that's going to make it just inevitably slower. Um, and by the first game on the DS, I mean the first game of Pokemon on the DS. So, that is going to just automatically slow it down. But, you know, it's this game. It's lovable. And if you don't love it, then you're sad. But... It's like, honestly, in month lock, we were like, oh, Gen 4. We were cringing at Gen 4. So, again, it's totally fine to cringe at Gen 4. I, I'm one of those that I love hearing and seeing what people's opinions are on stuff. So, like, if you tell me you don't like something, I would be like, oh, what's the reasoning for you not liking it? Because I want to know. What do you guys fair and how does it work? And, like, I like knowing her different perspectives and listening to the different perspectives. Um, so, yeah. Do you like Gen 4? If so, let me know. If not, why don't you like Gen 4? I like Gen 4 because, well, I kind of have a nostalgic value to it. But I also think that it has slow animations and is a just slow overall. Cynthia is a bay and god tier. And if he, like, is an amazing Pokemon trainer. But, and her Elite 4 is amazing. But I think some of the gym leaders are kind of lackluster. Um, aka the one who brought the fight, and <laughs> like, yeah, like, and Byron uh, is pretty lackluster too. Um, so there's a couple lackluster duds in here, Candace as well. Um, but you know, you can't control them all, so I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, you didn't do it correctly. But yeah, so that's my thoughts. I'm curious to know yours. Nice! Let's go! If we get a... If we get Miss Maggie, yes, that would be God tier. Oh, curious. Bop this curious. Bop this curious. Bop it curious! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Dude, curious? I'm, I'm in love with curious. I'm sorry. I just, I am. I totally am. And, uh, yeah, you can't tell me otherwise. Because curious is, like, really good, though. Like, I love it. I'm trying to heal, lady. We love healing. Healing is just... Mwah! Okay. So, do I want to end the episode or do I want to take on the force? I guess I can take on... The, I guess I can take on a couple of the trainers here. Honestly. It gives me an opportunity to actually... Wait. This dude fight, bat, fat, battles you, right? No. I thought he did. Okay. Oh, hey, um, my name is Cheryl, and, like, I am so glad to meet you. Like, may I ask you a favor? I really need to get through this forest, and, like, uh, I'm afraid of doing it by myself. I've heard there's, like, sinister group of people called Team Galactic, and, like, I think it's just gonna be safer to travel in numbers. Please, may I go with you? John decided to go with Cheryl. Yay! We love Cheryl. AKA, we never battle with Cheryl. And just because Cheryl is scary. We I always make sure that the encounter is not the one with Sharon. Or Sharon. With Cheryl. So, yeah. So, if we get an encounter, we get to scout what's here. But it's not actually an encounter. That's the Leafy on Rock. I do love the fact that Leafy on Rock is so early, though. It's so nice. It's like, oh, Leafy on Rock? Hi. Oh, <gasps> Seth! Ah, we can get a Seth. Woo! I mean, that's actually super hype. Getting a Seth. Getting a Seth. 
And uh, it's a yay. Cheryl, why do you have a yay? Uh, like, yay? I want the yay. You need to give me the yay, Cheryl. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I need it. You don't deserve a yay, Cheryl. You don't do any work for it. You don't deserve a yay. I deserve a yay. Ugh. You can get a chancy. Well, that's what you normally have. Wait, what? Um, you, you deserve like a, I don't know. Just like an aerodactyl or something. Cause you're not gonna help me out at all. Uh, I hate this. This is gonna go so bad. This is gonna go so bad for us. Okay. Don't we love when things go just... Oh, thank gosh, it was not the other way around! I saw a helping hand and I was like, oh no, we're dead. And it's like, no, no, John, you're fine. Uh, but I definitely need to keep curious out then because they're gonna attack Nanita Red if I keep curious. Oh my goodness. If I keep That was a level 10. Uh, but if I keep, the if I keep curious out, They'll, def uh, uh, they'll definitely attack Cheryl. Um, which, to be honest, I need them to do right now. Because Curious is actually really good at attacking and can just bop things. So if, as long as Cheryl is the hit target, we're cool. Use extreme speed on... It looks like it's on Curious. Oh, boy. Oh, but that did nothing to Curious, because Curious is good. Oh, gosh. This dude's got a lot. Um, This chick's got a lot of Pokeballs. Withdrew and devoured! <laughs> Yo! What a switch! What a switch! That Oko's! That for sure Oko's queen! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! You've got the powers of Jonas, honestly. Being able to predict what's coming out like nobody's business. Let's go, Curious. Let's go! Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And the last mod is that Gardevoir, which we bop. We bop a doodle of Gardevoir. <laughs> Yo, Curious. Let's go. Good job. Good job, buddy. I love you. Again, I can't love Curious more. Like, Curious is just so good. Oh, that's right. Cheryl heals my Pokemon. I'm like, oh, no, we're not healed. It's like, no, John. Cheryl literally does it for you. Energy. Well, <laughs> if we didn't have any healing items, we do now. I saw we had healing items, but still. I will do anything in my power not to fight Cheryl. Or fight with Cheryl. Because Cheryl has a Nidoran. Or, and that Nidoran female, as much as that turns into a yay, is still very oof. Ronda, get out here. Meteor Mash. Ooh, this could hurt, actually. Okay, no, it didn't. We're good. Elko? Maybe? No. No way. Superpower would have Elko'd, though. I gotta be careful of that, because I'm, I'm using Triple Kick to supplement. And, like... It would have just been better, ultimately, just to use superpower because there's only one Pokemon on this thing on this team. So yeah, I gotta keep that in mind when I'm doing this. So, last trainer of the day, we have a hat. I don't mind having fighting a hat because hat. Oh, that's right. Bye, curious. Oh, geez, curious. You took that. You took that. No problem. Okay. I forgot Miss Magius had Air Slash. Uh, slash, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I know. I knew that because uh, Dawn has it. Uh, okay, then. Bill has nothing to hit it with. Tarant. Yeah, Tarant's the best option after that. I gotta remember, Pursuit exists. And some, like, Ghost types or Dark types can have it no problem. Slash, okay. War chill. Po confusion, 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 confusion. Please, 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 please. Nope. 
Confusion, 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 fusion, fusion, please. Prop the confusion. Confusion is not gonna matter anymore because even though we missed three coin flips. Don't we love missing three coin flips? They're like, it's like the best feeling in the world to be messed with entirely. Oh my. Oh. Oh, that's right. I have the rain. I for, I was like, why did that do no healing? That's supposed to be 50%. And I was just going to be like, oh, goodness gracious. That does nothing for healing. We're good. We're solid. And with that, I hope you guys had an amazing episode of the Soglock, episode 67. And next episode, we're going to be finishing up this and not taking on the gym quite yet. We're not ready for that. But let's get this item. It's a double whale lord. Honestly, I like that. We found a oh, more wise glasses. Okay. Don't we love finding just a, a massive amount of wise glasses for no reason? Anyway, love you all. Have a great day. Um, enjoy Zogalog some more. Share it with friends because if you like it, we need to share it because uh, our YouTube doesn't do that for us because YouTube is dumb. Love you all. Bye.